Do you want to know how to build the honey beta seen on Hermitcraft? If you clicked on this video, I'm guessing that you do. But first of all, a quick introduction to the honey block powered elevator. You can pop in like so, hit the note block to go up a floor. And the cool thing about this design is that it's really easy to add stops into your elevator without a crazy amount of redstone. If you want to go down a floor, you can simply hug the side like this. And if you want to take a bit of a risk, you can drop down to go faster. And look at that, I missed my stop. Dropping down floors quickly does take a little bit of skill and getting used to. But you can always just gently drift down the side of the blocks and be patient and get out exactly where you want. Now this video starts with a brief tutorial on how to obtain honey blocks because I know some of you are going to comment it down below. So I recommend exploring the forest biome, keeping an eye out for both bees and beehives. If you see a bee, make sure you've got a flower with you so you can lure them like this. And have a couple so that you can place some on the ground so that they can start pollinating nearby as they need to be pollinated to go inside of the beehive. Now, if you block the entrance with a block, it will stop the bees from getting out. If you use a fence gate, you can also open this and that will let them back out again. But we want them to pollinate and then simply go inside of the beehive. And the last component here is a silk touch enchanted tool. If it's an axe, it will break the beehive faster. This is probably the trickiest thing because without the silk touch, breaking the beehive will cause the bees to pop out and be angry. Now, I recommend getting a few bees nests and making sure that there's at least a few bees inside of them. Of course, the very minimum you're going to need is one bees nest with two bees in them. The next step is to construct a bee breeding area. It does not have to be as fanciful as the one here in my hermit craft base, but the idea is that the bees won't be able to escape from this environment. So I've lined up the bees nests that I found in the wild along with beehives. They have blocks surrounding them on all sides and they have campfires down below which allow us to harvest from these bees nests without the bees getting angry. So we can open fence gates to let out the bees and then we can use flowers to breed them and get their numbers up. When we close these fence gates, the new bees will be able to make their way inside of the beehives. Now it may take some time, but eventually these are all going to fill up with lots of honey. And a way you can tell if it's full is to press F3, then look for the honey level on the right side of your screen. So when they're at honey level 5, you can right click with shears to get your hands on some honeycomb. These can then be used to craft up some beehives, which will also store the bees. And of course, we're here for the honey blocks. So you'll need some empty bottles and you'll need to right click on these to get at least four of them. And four honey bottles equals one honey block. Now, without any automation, that could become tedious because these honey biters can stretch quite a few blocks up and down. So here is the design I recommend placing. And when you put your bees nest in that you've picked up with silk touch and you've made sure that there are bees inside, you want to place them at night, otherwise they're going to pop out straight away and potentially fly out the front here. So nighttime means they won't pop out and you can seal the entrance like so. And when it comes to the redstone, things are super simple. We've just got a comparator here detecting the signal strength from the beehive. Once it reaches a full amount of honey, this block here gets powered and that activates the dispenser. So you want to fill this up with glass bottles and then you want to place a hopper directly below the bee's nest. And then you can chain a bunch of them into a chest like this so that all the bottles come to the same place. And with enough AFK time, you are going to get a plentiful amount of these honey bottles. There are two other important ingredients. One of them is kelp. You can find plenty of this stuff at a nearby ocean. You will also need one block of soul sand, which you can find in the nether in a soul sand valley. And if you really need help finding these things, I'd recommend putting the seed of your world into chunk base so you can find an ocean and a soul sand valley. Are you enjoying this tutorial video? Then make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can catch any future tutorials that I publish. Thanks for doing that. Now let's crack on with the video. So now that we've covered the Minecraft basics, let's get to building the honey beta. It is this shape right here that you want to start with. Put a soul sand block here, and then you just want to build this up as high as you want your elevator to be. At the very top of your elevator, place a bucket of water here going all the way down to the bottom. You will then need to traverse all the way to the bottom. So if you're doing this in survival and you've made a really big elevator, you might want to bring a water breathing potion as you're going to have to place kelp through all of the water blocks. When we break the kelp, it's going to convert all of that water into water sources. So there are other ways in which you could do this too, but simply break the kelp and replace the honey here. 
We will now be able to walk into the corner of the honey blocks, which means we touch the water, which will elevate us upwards thanks to the soul sand. That is, of course, the elevation part. And then to go down, we can simply use the honey blocks to slide down like so. And when it comes to adding a stop on your elevator floor, simply place a button at this height here, then go to the block above and put two blocks across so that you can place a trapdoor in this position. Now break these blocks, walk into the corner, and you'll see that the trapdoor is stopping us. We can then press the button to go all the way to the top. But let's just say you wanted to get off of that floor. Well, obviously, you just want to walk out. But because of the way we put this trapdoor slightly higher, it means that we can walk out a little easier. Now, on the Hermitcraft server, you would have noticed that I had a note block to click on. This is just because it's bigger than a button. So the way this is set up is by having an observer at the back with a note block behind it, then an observer facing upwards, two regular blocks here, and a repeater like that on the fourth setting. So there it is, very simple to set up. Now when you go in here, you just aim at the note block and then click on it to go up. So that is the honey baiter. And my favorite thing about this is just how quick and simple it is to set up a stop. So if you build this in the middle of an area where you're gonna be adding stops, all you gotta do is throw in the trapdoor and the button, and then you've got a place that you can simply drop out of. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video on the honey baiter. If you know a Minecrafter you think might enjoy this contraption, be sure to share it with them. But that's it from me this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with another. Bye-bye.